guys, welcome back to Trailosophy. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about everything that's in my pack. So first I want to give a little preface about base weight. So I'm going to outline the categories real quick. So anything that's considered an ultralight base weight is going to be 10 pounds or less. Lightweight is going to be 20 pounds or less. Normal weight is going to be 30 pounds or less. And anything over 30 pounds is going to be considered heavy. And this is what's generally accepted in the backpacking realm. So when we talk about base weight, we're talking about everything except for consumables. So consumables, um, for the most part, when it concerns base weight, are just going to include your water, your fuel, and your food. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and delve into everything that's in my pack. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is my pack. This is the Osprey Exos 58 liter pack. Um, it is the unisex pack. Um, the next thing is my sleeping bag. This is the REI Magma 17 degree sleeping bag. And here I have my clothing bag. Um, if you want to see more details about what kind of clothing I'm bringing, just check out my um, gear video part two. I'll put a link to that um, at the end of this video so that you guys can check that out. And this is my down jacket. And moving on, I have got a liner. This is a thermarest liner for my sleeping bag. Uh, so this is just gonna add some extra warmth for me. I also have an emergency bivy. Um, this is a breathable bivy and it's reusable. So this is just gonna add some more warmth for me on those really cold nights. Um, I have switched this, if you've seen some of my other gear videos, because the other one I had was not breathable, so that would collect condensation. That's why I swapped. Um, this is just a water scoop cup for me. It just fits over this really nicely. Um, this is a hat. And here I have my rain gear. There's also more details about this in my clothing video. So these are my rain pants and my rain jacket. And here is my tent. This is the REI Co-op Quarter Dome One Tent. This is the tent stakes. And this is the tent body with the uh, rain fly and the ground cloth in here as well. For my water storage, I've got two smart water bottles. Um, and I also have a one liter platypus and a 16 ounce um, Nalgene water bottle. For my sleeping pad, I've got the Thermarest um, X-Therm. I switched this from my big three gear video as well because the R value is much higher. The R value on this is 5.7, I believe, and the other one is somewhere around three. So that was a big difference, um, really good for the winter camping. A few ounces more, but I think definitely worth it. These are my camp shoes. They are Crocs. Croc sandals. Um, this is my accessories bag. So in here I've got my gloves, my hat, my gaiters, my buff, and I also put a new brace in here. Again, more details about that in my clothing video. I also have a spot tracker. This is um, the Spot Gen 3. I tested it out earlier today. It worked fantastic. Um, so this is what I'll be able to use to send my location to my friends and family so they know where I'm at. And then I've also got, this is just a small bag um, that I will be using to carry my ID, money, debit cards, things like that. Um, I'll also be using it, it's double-sided, I'll also be using it to store my um, electronic cords on one side. This will be really nice for when I'm in trail towns, it fits my cell phone and everything. It's from Z-Packs and it's really lightweight and I can um, either carry it, some people carry it around their neck, I could carry this while I'm backpacking if I wanted things um, easily reachable or I could just carry it on my side person. And then I also have got my 
AT guy. This is the 2018 version that I just got in the mail. Um, this is going to be my map and guide for everything. It's the AWOL guide. Um, I really like it so far, so we'll see how it is out on the trip. And then I have a journal and a pen. And now I'm going to pick up the camera so I can show you guys um, the little things. Um, that'll just be easier for you to see. So another thing you can see underneath my gear here, I've got a couple stuff sacks, so let me talk about those. So this one right here is my pack liner, so that's what everything is going to fit into very nicely. It is from z Packs, and it is supposed to be waterproof, so that's going to kind of keep everything in my bag nice and dry. Underneath um, this group of items, I have my Thermarest stuff sack that comes with my Thermarest sleeping pad. So that stuff sack um, I put outside of my sleeping bag to give an additional barrier there, but I'm keeping it because you can use it to blow up the sleeping pad. So that's really helpful to keep as little moisture in there as possible. Um, now I'm gonna move on to my um, kind of little things for you guys to see. So the underneath here is my z Packs Bear Bagging Kit. Um, so up in the corner, we've got the rock sack that comes with that, the cord that comes with that. Um, you can't see it, but there is a carabiner somewhere there as well. I'll put it on the back. Um, this is my Osprey Rain Pack cover. Here I have a black diamond headlamp. Um, here's kind of my electronic section. The one thing not featured that's usually right here is my um, little mini tripod that I have been using to make some of these videos. I will be bringing that with me. It's really small. It's about this size. Um, I have one cord to charge my phone, small one, one to charge my battery bank. Here's my anchor battery bank one um, wall cube, one set of headphones. These are my micro spikes. Um, there's more details about that in my clothing video. Um, this is a total luxury item. We'll see how long it stays with me. I decided that instead of having my pillow as a luxury item, I'd rather bring this. Um, so it is a folding basin. Um, it only weighs, um, I think, 2.3 ounces. So really, really lightweight but I can pop it up. It's an eight and a half liter capacity and I can fill it with water. I can use this for things like laundry, um, soaking my tired, aching feet, um, just little things. I think it'll be a really nice luxury item to have. Um, this is my first aid kit. I have a video on everything that's in my first aid kit and toiletries if you're interested in that. Here are my aqua tabs. That's what I'm going to be using to Purify my water. More details on that in my part one video. And here is a travel for leave no trace purposes. Moving on, this has got my Z seat on the bottom here. So my Z seat um, is just going to be used so that I have something to sit on if it's rainy and wet on the ground, um, just to kind of keep dry and just to have something other than the ground to sit on sometimes. It's extremely lightweight. Um, I will talk about my cook kit really quick. So here I've got a folding spork. It's by MSR, a bandana, a lighter, a cut corner of a sponge, a peachy clean sponge. Um, this is my MSR pocket rocket stove and a Tox stuff sack. Two rubber bands that go around my pot. My pot is the Tox 900 milliliter titanium pot. This is a small funnel that I use um, just to filter particles out of my water, like dirt and things like that. Here's some toilet paper. Um, this is my toiletries kit. Um, and back here I have chapstick, two little things of hand sanitizer, and a pocket knife. Those I will be keeping in my um, hip belt pocket and here's just a couple extra Ziploc bags. 
So that is everything included in my base weight. I think I also have one more bandana in the pocket of my backpack that I didn't show in here. But that's everything in my base weight. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I didn't include in my base weight or some things that might sometimes be considered in base weight. So my trekking poles over there, I decided not to include in my base weight because I'm not using them as tent stakes. If I was using them as tent stakes, I would include them. Um, I'm mostly only going to be using them in my hands while I'm trekking. So I didn't include those. Um, and that is the minimum amount of clothing that I will be wearing. So one pair of socks, um, underwear and a base layer kind of and pants so I did not include those um, because that's kind of the minimum amount that's going to be on my person at all times so this is everything in my base weight and it comes in at exactly 21 pounds so almost lightweight gear set up for a winter Appalachian Trail start through hike No, you gotta wait until I get this last one on. Hey, Brian, what did you just say? No. <laughs> Come on. What did you say? What did you say about about the cross out the trail? But Brian, Brian Osophy. <laughs> Here it is, everyone. The true. The one and only. <laughs> the man. The lit man. The legend. <laughs> well, you messed it up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's Brian. <laughs> <laughs>